then you wonder why this is a lonely, lonely trade. Hey, this is a view from my plot. There's not a bloody, not a bloody soul to talk to. It's depressing. I feel suicidal, guys. I really, really do feel suicidal. Apart from the view is nice and green. Anyway, getting off that subject of depression. Um, that's what you want, guys. That's what you want. Buy a bit of land with a barn like that. And then convert that into your house and just live off the land. Shit, I wish I'd have known about these things 20, 25 years ago. Tell you. That's just, that's a stable that is, that's got horses in it. Because. But yeah. I don't know exactly what it's got without uh, flying a drone up there. But um, yeah. That's what you, what you want. Buy land with a bit of a barn on like that. Convert it on the inside into an house without telling anybody because they'll all want a slice of the pie, won't they? And uh, yeah, so the panels, water tanks, vegetables, a few chickens, jobs are good and that's the way forward, guys. That's the way forward. Right then. When it comes to glossing your doors, skating boards and stuff like that with a roller, um, I'm using... I'm using these um, Hamilton Perfection Medium Pile. Medium Pile Woven. What they got? But anyway, yeah, like a, a greenish colour, these. Um, put them straight into to gloss. So it's like a four inch roller sleeve. Hamilton straight into gloss. Happy days. Um, but one thing I'm going to say is make sure you've got more than um, just the one on your roller arm when you're glossing because I think I've done about half a dozen plots and uh, I was just doing the skating boards and it just started to fall to bits. <laughs> just started falling to bits. So, yeah, look. Make sure you've got more than one <laughs> in your bag of bits. Do you know what I mean? Because it's no worse than uh, getting halfway around your skating boards like I did yesterday and having to do a balancing act to uh, finish your skirts. So, yeah, here it is. But, yeah, well, ideal, straight into gloss. No bits come out or anything, but just make sure you've got more than one with you. So bear that in mind. Just, just, just another hint and tip from yours truly. I've always got your best interests at heart. You know that, guys. Hey, and like one of the uh, somebody said in the comments, there's only one cult that he follows, and that's the cult of the Candleman. No other comes anywhere close. Cheers, mate. Whoever you are. Right then. You know what to say, don't you? Keep your friends close. And keep your enemies closer. So I'm working for this particular firm. Won't mention his name. Uh, because he don't pay me to. Um, but yeah, lovely bloke. Lovely bloke. Soul to the earth. Nice bloke. Get on like that, we don't get on like that. But anyway, yeah, working for him, and uh, the downside to it is 90% of his work is for one particular builder, and uh, them plots for that particular builder are absolutely some of the hardest, time-consuming plots to paint for a painter. There's just so much work in them, it's unbelievable, it is. But, um, I, yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't give a shit if I didn't paint any of them plots for the rest of my life because there's, there's just too much work in them and the price doesn't reflect the amount of work that's in them. So, yeah, I, I don't give a shit about painting them, which is a good job because 
somebody on the opposite side of the road, um, which is a different build-up, has thought it clever in their wisdom to cross the road and have a little word with the contract manager for that particular build-up and decide to tell him, oh, you've got the candle man on your site painting plots. Uh, I, 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 wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have him on your site to file you because like, he got in trouble about 15 years ago um, with one of his old bosses doing some sort of video. Uh, so you want to be careful and blah, blah, blah. And obviously this contracts manager for this particular builder says, oh yeah, yeah, no, I can't have him on my site. It, it's too risky, which is stupid listening to some useless person on the opposite side um, because I, d I don't do any videos like that so when well, slagging people off to that extent anyway uh, there's no fear of me slagging builders off or anything like that because I don't do it because I'd be an idiot too wouldn't I so uh, this particular person has basically landed me in the shit so I can't uh, go and paint plots for that particular builder Unbeknown to them, it don't make no difference to me whatsoever. None whatsoever. Because like, there's so much work out there, so many companies to work for. And that particular builder is really, realistically, the last builder I'd want to paint plots for. So that particular person um, has just wasted his time anyway, because it don't make no difference to me. And yes, I do know who it is, because people talk, don't they? and uh, that the name of the person has come to light who it is and it's like guaranteed information because yeah you know like on building sites i like to slob i don't know and they soon tell you who's opened the mouth to try and land you in the shit so yes i know who it is <laughs> unreal absolutely unbelievable but hey, not to worry, not to worry. The grass is greener on the other side. But yeah, unbelievable these people are, aren't they? Right. Trying to take the bread and butter out of the common working man's family. That's what they're doing here. They're not just trying to um, piss you off and land you in the trouble. It affects your family and your kids and everything else, doesn't it? Because can you imagine if you, you're one of these people who just work for one firm? Um, it'd be devastating for you, wouldn't it? I mean, I, I, I'm lucky because I, I, I just jump from one firm to another, shit loads of them, it doesn't make any difference to me. And it doesn't make any difference now because I'm still on the same firm, so it doesn't make any difference. But it just shows you, doesn't it? Jesus Christ, man, some people are just ruthless, absolutely ruthless. Uh, they'll end up in purgatory, won't they? Uh, on the way to hell. Uh, luckily, it's not affected me. So, bonus. In actual fact, it's probably done me a favour because I'm not painting them particular plots for that particular builder which i can't stand doing anyway so all i'm all that's happening now is uh it's just giving me uh the good stuff so done me a favor to be fair hey assholes ain't they these people be careful mate see them in straight i'll shoot them when we crossbow you know what i'm saying hey. anyway that's enough of that just watch your back guys watch your back these people unreal but not to worry not to worry I've just got to share this with you. You know, I did them videos on uh, the Chinese diesel heater and how it has helped me uh, in the kitchen utility area by boosting the, the heat around that, that surrounding area. Well, they do come in handy. They, they won't heat your whole house, as, as I've said in the video. You can check that out. <coughs> but they they do warm warm it up a bit or you can put your central heating on and when that that switches off 
white your diesel heater on and it'll keep it fairly warm. Well, it makes you laugh, doesn't it? I had a me message from Amazon where I bought it from last year and um, they wanted to do a recall on it. Yeah, you need to send your item back because we're doing a recall, something about it being the, the wrong size kilowatt or some, some bullshit anyway. I thought, I'll tell you what, there's no way on this earth I'm sending that back, I can assure you, because it helps me loads. It helps me keep the, bill, the bills down. But yeah, did a recall on trying to uh, get you to send it back. I wonder how many idiots sent it back, because I never. Hey, that's the government uh, kicking in now, isn't it? Trying to get you to send them back so you use central heating more. Tell you what. Hey, uh, talk about keeping you down in the gutter. Right, progress so far. As you can see, I've got nearly a full litre of uh, honey still coming out. Obviously, I've got a bit of honey in there and I've sorted that out. But yeah, there it is. Still dripping out. Pure natural honey made by my bees. Look at that beauty. That's nice, that is, isn't it?